Oh, I love this song. The rapture. And brought the world to a halt, like nothing else could. Our minds are still racing back and forth, longing for a return to normality, and refusing to acknowledge the rapture.
Alright, I gotta stop it just there because what a fucking stupid comment. Why don't you wear any jewellery, man? How can you be a shaman and not have any jewellery, stones, gems? Maybe you're a knockoff. Because I don't wear jewellery, I'm not a shaman. Fucking hell, man. What do you people do on my channel? Where, where do you get these ideas, man? Like, <laughs> what the fuck? Shamanism comes within, right? It's coming from within. It's not coming from, I'm pulling energy from out of jewels. And then, because I wear some jewels, that makes me a shaman. You fucking freak. Fuck off my channel. <clears throat> anyway, I'm trying to find... Fuck, there's so many comments here, guys. I've not looked at these comments for a while. I'm sorry, I'm going to go back and answer a lot of them. I just had no idea there was this many comments, because I don't get notified by them all and the reason I'm coming through here is to check for a comment that that someone made um, a while ago about organic portals hitting a certain brain part and I'm just looking for that comment one second and yeah, I, don't, I can't seem to find it, and there's just too many comments, so lucky I remember it. I might come back through. <laughs> I like how, how DB calls them bots. Gang stalking simulation channel, he's saying, you're watching too much of that lame DB channel. <laughs> David, whatever your name is. <laughs> I like how he calls them bots, funny. And it's true. Uh, anyway, we'll talk about it another day. Look, I can't find this comment, but there was a comment where someone said that they feel like organic portals are hitting their brain part, and I know exactly what he meant as soon as he commented. And I just want to talk about that uh, quickly, because I don't know how many other people are going to be able to even talk about it. So here I go. <coughs> uh, I've been thinking about it, you know, I was thinking, what are they doing? Are they hitting the grey matter? Are they hitting the cortical folds? Are they giving you vision are they eliciting vision you know god helmet technology and all, and all of those things you know the directed um mental weapons so to speak which we do find patterns of so patents of so um they do exist um and i was just thinking through everything rifling through everything i know and i thought about it and you know, you can talk about the cerebellum running at a medium rate of evolution. Well, they're not going to be hitting that, are they? It just sort of ticks along like that. And why are they going to be messing with that part of your brain? No. Right? Because it's already running at a slow-ass pace anyway. So I was thinking, it's got to be down the back of the brain stem more. And that's where you feel the heat, too. Um, so I thought, well, I think it's the ponds. The ponds sit on the side of the brain stem and they act like a drum feeding in the beat of and rhythm of reality. So I think that it's the ponds. And so if you check, you know, some some brain diagrams and the sections of the brains and the names, you'll see that these are at the back of the brain stem. Because I was thinking, well, is it God's mouth? But you see. I don't think uh, you can't really close the medulla oblongata, that you can't frequency control it out of existence. But with the ponds, because they sort of beat, um, you, you could uh, mucosally calcify, putting frequencies uh, onto a person, which, you know, stops the natural rhythm. Think of it again like horizontal, and so if you're not really strongly pushing the, you know, telesentient spinal fluid up, if you're not really in microcosmic orbit, um, you know, up the back and then down the front. Nobody knows about that frontal channel. Everybody talks about kundalini and pulling energy up the back. Okay, fine, but that's the part, that's half, that's part of the microcosmic orbit. Um, anyway, so... I was thinking, you know, in the end, all I can think of is that it's the ponds. Because the ponds, they they basically beat in reality. Yeah, they 
they create rhythms um, which sort of loosen and allow for flow. So if you tighten them, and you'll notice when your neck is tight at the back, your pons will start to basically shut down. They, they just don't uh, pulsate the same. So for instance, when I go for a surf and I really clear out, um, I notice the difference. Like after an hour or two of surfing, you know, you're getting your entire mucosal membrane uh, you know, renewed, you're getting salt, blah blah blah, it's all fantastic, Ormus level, fifth dimensional level, right, plasmonic level. Ormies, orbitally rearranged monoatomic elements in the water, you know, all this basically raises the vibration, um, you know, the opposite way of death and the unpulsing, right? So I'm saying that the pulsing is into life, and I'm telling you that the brain stem has these two things called the pons on either side of the brain stem, and they basically breathe in the rhythm of reality. Think about it for a while, look into it more, but yeah, I just wanted to give you guys that answer. I don't think we're going to get anything better. Let me know what you think in the comments, but you're going to have to give actual, you know, theory. <laughs>